Mr. Howell, I know people our age, you know, in this age demographic for the last 10 to 20 years, it's been a big push on what we can do to help save the planet as far as recycling and just making sure we're managing all the different resources, limited resources that we have at our hand. And solar panels have been a big key in trying to, to help take care of our planet. But unfortunately, it sounded like all of those solar panels that I see here in Northern California, might cause a bigger problem later on down the road. Uh, today, we're joined by Ms. Maddie Stone from Wired.com. And they have a nice little piece to dis- to discussing those little bit of those, those challenges that we're going to have when it comes to solar panels and them reaching the end of life. How you doing, Maddie? Hey, I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate you joining us. This is um, something that I can't say I really thought about. I'm just thinking, okay, hey, we're saving the planet. We're doing the right thing. And heck, some of us are even saving money on energy bills by using Mm -hmm. the solar panels. But I never really thought about the idea that when these things start to break down and, and, and just deteriorate, where do they go? The landfill isn't necessarily the place we want to see these, right? Right, exactly. And um, I, you know, I should say to your point there that when you're buying a solar panel, you really are doing a good thing for the planet. Um, so this waste challenge is really important, but um, it's also important to keep in mind that solar panels and solar power are amazing. They're super important for fighting climate change and, um, and helping, helping us all bring down our carbon emissions, which we need to do. But um, as I often say, no technology, no matter how great it is, comes without a cost to the environment and solar panels are no exception to that. Um, So the cost of solar is much smaller than burning fossil fuels, but it's still something the industry needs to deal with. Um, And so this this challenge of solar waste is really an emerging challenge for the industry. You know, we have millions and millions of panels being installed around the world now. And these panels don't last forever. They have a lifespan of um, a couple of decades, which is pretty good. But when they die, we need to deal with their disposal. And if we don't um, develop technologies for recycling them and and policies to bring those technologies to market, we are gonna have a lot of solar panels winding up in landfills. And, And that's really not a good situation for the planet. Now, I've read your piece on Wired about uh, the recycling process, but can you explain to our viewers and listeners what exactly is uh, is the problem here? Because when I see a solar panel up on my neighbor's home, I just see a bunch of glass. That's just, you know, from a visual standpoint. But I'm sure there's more behind all of that glass that's, that could be broken down or can't be broken down. What is the problem with the recycling process? Is it just uh, we're losing a, a lot of, uh, of money on the cost of recycle or is just w- what exactly is it? Yeah, so, so the first thing to keep in mind here is that you know solar panels are essentially very big, very complicated electronic devices. 